guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 10 and 11 of Yes, Pretty Cure 5, so let's go ahead and get started with episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, come here, Cody. Come here. Where are you? Oh, okay, no, 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 there you are. Come, come here, right here. Yeah, 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 there we go. Good job, puppy. There you go. Nuts, are you okay? Just sleepy? Well, yeah, who else is it gonna be? <laughs> oh. oh. Mm. My child is sick, god damn it! Y'all really said, mm, we making Sora from Kingdom Hearts sick this week. Technically, this is supposed to be last week's episode, but I took a break. Cody, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> you weirdo! Hey! Uh-uh. Stop. <laughs> Wait, no. Yeah, like seriously, but y'all said, yeah, we're we're gonna make Sora slash Vanitas sick this week, and the girls and Coco are gonna have to take care of him. But you know, I I would have taken care of him. He's so fucking cute. Like, oh my god, I want the freaking nuts plushie that I've seen on Mercart so bad. Like, oh my god, you don't know. But not really for this series of Pretty Cure, but could um, nope. Tropical British Pretty Cure, I bought something, and it's still not fucking here, and I want it so bad that the people who I bought it from demanded me to say a review, and I'm like, how can I say a review for today if the dang thing ain't even here yet? She's not here. Yeah. Why didn't you go out and eat? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Do you not just want, you know, Oh, yeah, yeah, you're supposed to eat. I mean, I get that. That happens almost like everybody, but damn, there, there's no one here. What's wrong? Rin? Yeah. I mean, honestly, when you really think about it, have you girls plus two guys who are fairies, have you done really good advertisement for the store? Huh. Save nuts from starvation. Oh god, we got a kitchen in this place.
So something tells me this must be his revenge episode. Um, well, because, see, no, honestly, almost any time when a villain of the week comes, it's always their revenge episode. <laughs> yeah, empty. <laughs> no, he's so cute. Yeah, but the biggest thing is, have they ever like gone around to like certain places and given out flyers? Exactly. Well, because in a way, Urana is a walking billboard. She's freaking a celebrity. So she's gonna have that mindset, duh. Yeah. Then how the fuck are you supposed to sell anything? Can't can't you guys make like flyers or something? Mm mm. Making flyers and posters. That too. Poor baby. <laughs> well, you know, I you want to try to ask you or tell you something. She tried. too forceful and Komachi is not forceful enough. <sighs> mm. Oh my god. Chick. you did was you talked about nuts. Huh. Hmm. Well, what else can you do? I would 
give to him, I give him the world. Like, oh my god. Mm. Finally, oh my god, yes. <laughs> I just saw her. Mm hmm. No, because it's already ending. Tried your buzz, honey. Mm. 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 Finally, we talking about this plan. Yes. I mean, hell, didn't the girls at Hagato have to do that as well when they were making, like, their their shop thing for, um, oh, oh baby, child, and Harry. <laughs> Let's hope this works. Ah, oh, it's cute in <laughs> that house. <laughs> Oh, did he just make coffee? He's gonna make coffees? Oh. Oh. There you go, a coffee machine! Yay! Oh, that's so perfect. Honestly, that's awesome as hell. That's why you stop trying to be me all the time, you don't.
<laughs> Seriously. Is everybody okay? Monster of the week to begin the week after I've cried like <laughs> how many times did I cry over freaking to your eternity or first basket life? Oh. <laughs> oh, too much. See, every time I see her, I kind of want some lemonade, and I haven't had some really good lemonade in, like, a couple of months. Yeah. Hell, I also want coffee, like, for so <laughs> Well, when I go on vacation next month, I can get some, mm, some good iced lattes. Yes. <laughs> the one time that I'm actually gonna agree with nuts. <laughs> That's why I hate eating in front of people sometimes, or like when people eat in front of me and they don't offer me anything to eat. I'm like. You know, if they give you free food, will you just be on the good side? Yeah, I mean, because honestly, it is your own fault that you lost, so. It's so good.
Mhm. Ja. Does he? That's all we had to do. That is all we had to do. God, he's so fine. Oh my god, I can't. Like, oh. That's why it's so, 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 so bad. I need another Pretty Cure season where we get hot, guys. Like, as much as I love my mermaid season, thank you, God, you know, Toei, for giving me my mermaid tropical rouge s season ish with you know the goat cast i i need eye candy like bad <laughs> i mean yes thank god i've watched so many other animes that have so many good looking men <laughs> some oh god God, I can't, but he's just so cute. Like, I can't. He just... He just does it for me. I just, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I do. I'm fucking lying. <laughs> it's not because of the Sora Kingdom Hearts thing. It's just, it's... I think maybe his attitude because... Okay, in my opinion, Coco is the... It's just a good boy. Coco, like, okay... If Coco and Nuts were brothers, Coco would be the good brother. The brother that, you know, like a couple of people would always want to be with. But Nuts. Uh, we ain't done. But. As I was saying, nuts is just mm, 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 mm. He is he he's everything. He is the bad boy between the two. Typically, he is the one that I would really automatically go for. I mean, now if we're talking about like, <laughs> if we were talking about fruits basket guys, like oh, well no, still in the end, yeah, but you yeah, hot to heart. So still, I'm a girl who like bad boys. Like bad boys are kind of like my weakness in a way. Also, I mean, this well, really, any type of guy is my weakness, but like, especially you know, personality wise and it's like that. But yeah, nuts, you know, nuts can be very hard headed, very freaking hard headed. I mean, you know, this is Sora from Kingdom Hearts we're talking about. God dang it. <laughs> But I still love him. I, you know, I'm glad everything worked out. I mean, in the end, if they would have did the flyer thing in the beginning, I, I don't think what, they would have had a whole bunch of problems. But of course, we have to find so many things. You know, with Urara, you know, being a celebrity, I, I was thinking that was going to work. I was going to be thinking like, oh, they're going to do an interview with her. And she's going to be like, and they're gonna be like, oh yeah, look at my necklace. Da -da 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 -da. I got it from here. Da -da -da -da. And because people watch TV all the time, da -da -da -da, we eventually have like sales, but no. In the end, that's what you have to start with. Start with a really hot guy. You know, you know they do it right. You know exactly what they were doing. I mean, come on. Let, like, let's think about real world experiences now. Like, when you go to, um, I don't really know if some people still shop at some of these stores because I I'm an adult now and I don't really shop at these stores anymore. <laughs> I've been in the store, like, a couple of times maybe to just get, like, perfume or cologne um for like a significant other or myself or whatever because you know your girl likes perfume but 
also like because one guy who i was friends with shopped in this store a lot and it was freaking expensive hollister um i remember one time i went to new york with my um my whole like chorus class and everything um and <laughs> it was still kind of cold outside but because we were walking around and everything it was like cold warm but not cold warm like here in um florida it's like in new york city it, it gets cold there like really really cold but it was a really good day where it was like really sunny um I don't remember what the degrees was at the time so I had like a big coat but then I had a jacket so I would carry my coat wherever I went and such so we stopped we were able to go like somewhere around like free time nation so me and my friends went to Hollister and there were like these two hot guys outside you know and because it is still like hot a little bit hot but still cold at the same time um of course they're gonna make them be shirtless and stand outside because you know what's the best thing to have a girl come into your shore. Shirtless men. That's my thing. I, I, if you roll that way. Now if it's for, you know, girls who are for the other team. When it, when, when summertime comes. Ish. You have to find something that is instantly going to get your target, you know, demographic for like your audience, your sales, whatever. Uh, you, you sometimes you have to do certain things just to get what you want. I mean, believe me, I know I've also done that as well. <laughs> so I, I think the stupidest thing I probably did on as a YouTuber was um, <laughs> and I still can't believe I did this. Um, I didn't mean to do this as first, and I cannot believe we're talking about this now. Um, when I first started out, I I wore like I, I have big boobs, so we all know that. Thank God. Um, I always use those to my f advantage, but I would never flaunt and stuff, especially when I did streaming and stuff for Kingdom Hearts 2. I, I would play like a dumb, <laughs> I am very smart and intelligent for my age, damn it, but I would sometimes play dumb and do stupid things. <laughs> We've all done some stupid ish, so don't deny it. We've all done something that's like, we, to get what we want, because you know, hey. That's what we do sometimes you have to manipulate people people and it's like that but i only did it for fun i never did it in seriousness there were times like especially when i first started doing this thing um i remember like i was recording interview to monster girls and i was i was just sitting up like this regularly i had a low v-net shirt that still you know showed the girls and everything and i like sit up and i bent over for a moment and I was like and I didn't realize I was doing it and stuff it's just like you know like a natural thing like you just do when you just don't know when you're doing it and there was a moment where I looked like dead ass at myself and I was like oh my god I was like Deja 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 I was like Deja oh my god <laughs> like in my mind so I had to like stop and I was like yeah I'm not I'm sorry <laughs> but, <laughs> but sometimes yes the girls do help <laughs> not all the time but you know they help <laughs> To, but yeah in the end sometimes you have to you know flaunt something or someone to get what you need to get i mean yes because you know they used nuts for a reason because nuts is the hottest freaking guy in this dang show between him and harry if him and harry would have freaking met oh my god we would have been done we would have been done like your girl would have just died because of hotness because hot guys <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 11. Okay, episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. Knows mean did you fail? Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, G, don't be don't be. <laughs> Woo. Woo
Well, it is if you just do a certain trick to it. I mean, dang. Like, hell, I haven't even started my Japanese studying, which your girl needs to do soon. Well, technically, you know, I am also doing it because, you know, watching anime. Nope. Now it's me. Mm-hmm. Perfect. I mean, because the thing is, Nozine, like, oh my god, see, you, you mm, god, let's go back to last week's Pretty Cure, Tropical Rouge, Manitsu before <laughs> episode 11, child <laughs> failure stuff, and she had to, she had a retake, but she did good. You can do good as well, knows mean. It's just about putting, if you can put a lot of effort in, like, something that you really love and care about, you can also put a lot of effort in studying. Hell, with me, like, I, I love to study, but then there are times where I hate studying and it's like that. And I'm always like, no, I don't want to study now. And it's, because, you know, when I was in elementary school, I did good on my tests. But um, at the same time, there were some tests that I wasn't the greatest at. And my mom always taught me, like, a trick to do and best thing ever. But always remember, don't have anything distract you while you're studying. Like, focus on your ish. And then, you know, yeah, you should be fine. Never study the day before because you were never going to remember anything. Trust me. Always highlight something when your teacher says it's important it's going to be on the test. Mm Because it's that photographic memory, which I also have as well. That too. Oh my. No, it's me! Yeah, and then you get to eat. say this company is worse than you know the my favorite villains in Sailor Moon which is five I mean you know them bitches <laughs> oh god backstabbing bitches but you love them though Like, I'm honestly ready to see them backstab each other and ish. And then to just get someone kicked off one by one. Yeah, maybe I should rewatch Sugar Moon. <laughs> no, Sweeney, you didn't. That's not fair. 
there. That's like kind of cheating. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You're right. Yeah. Ah! Oh, he's so pretty right there. Yeah. This is a date. Mm-hmm. 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 Honestly, really, I've never thought of going on a hot air balloon as a date. But, I mean, you know, whatever floats your boat, right? I mean, like, really, let me ask this. Like, seriously, what would you want your type of date to be? Like, where would you want to go? What would you want to do? You know, it's not... you have talent and it's okay if it took you a little longer for you to learn something rather than anyone else I was like that too hell I'm still like that
It's a good comparison. Don't worry, she'll be back soon. <coughs> uh. That just tells you how far she's willing to go to help someone. Oh, but it is. So, um, hold on, quick question. I mean, yes, they in the cloud and ish, you know, but how in the world are the rest of the girls going to get up there? Yes, they can immediately jump, but, um, unless that cloud is like <laughs> locked or something, I don't know. We'll see. And then plus the fact is stream has to not only protect herself, but during cocoa or mm, apples and oranges. This is like the one Jujutsu Kaisen episode. Oh my god.
Mm. Great. I mean, come on, damn it. We, we cheerleaders up in this. Like, I don't know, build, build a ladder? Something? I don't know. Uh -uh. Huh. Great. Yep, there you go. Mm hmm Reach your girlfriend. Not not even your girlfriend. Reach your child. Oh my god. Easy. Um, yeah, y'all forgot about that. Hmm. But where's dream? Mm -hmm. No! <laughs> it's so cute. Oh. <laughs> you can't kiss her though, huh? Okay, but okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. They're a little bit better, but I was guessing we would have seen like a 95. Exactly. I, I 
know, but I thought she would at least get like, you know, a 60 or maybe a 70, but you know what? So once again, A for effort. She's not the best, but you know, I mean, mm. <laughs> it's okay. It happens to all of us, but like, oh my God. It's like, seriously, their date, mm, that was cute. I'm sorry, but like, oh my God. Like, see, it's weird for me to kind of shift them because, you know, he, he's not really human. He, he he's, <laughs> he's a fairy and it's just like, oh no, but they're going to have all these cute little freaking moments with each other because, you know, we got to have that for the fan service-esque of this show. I get it, but like, oof, at the same time, big old oof because they can't be together because, you know, reasons. <laughs> But it was cute for her to have like a shoulder to talk to or really just someone in general to talk to while the rest of the four also have nuts. It, it was good to see both comparisons and then both POVs for um, knows me herself and the rest of the girls because you need to see it in a different light. And so, yeah, it's good to have two guys instead of one because each boy gets to share their opinion on the situation and they both will sometimes either have a similar um solution or possibly a different way but you know it is what it is it's okay <laughs> because it always happens you're gonna you're gonna meet a lot of people in your life who are going to give you several different opinions before you officially choose whatever opinion you want you may have your own decision but it isn't it's never bad to get someone else's opinion on something i'm just saying My precious baby okay so I want to talk about something that I talked about in last week's yeah because yeah it'll still be last week or it'll be episode 11 for Tropical Rouge but you know by the time you guys see this episode 12 will be out so um last week I got a message from a friend about um a post on healing good and the three missing episodes that we were supposed to see but because of covid and situation and time consuming moments and you know because money is time and ish they had to cut three episodes and those three episodes were a hinata based episode focusing on her and fashion um of course the christmas episode and also um an episode that was supposed to be with yes pretty cure five go go almost kind of maybe like um a prequel or a sequel somewhat to the movie but we'll never know and honestly even till today like as someone who said her opinions about that on Sunday Saturday or Sunday's video like in talking about this once again it is really upsetting especially with the fact is like Hinata in my opinion Hinata got the least amount of focus in Healing Good um because like in the beginning like way before Umi came in Chiyu, Nadoka, and Hinata all got an equal amount of focus. Then we got to the very last episode before COVID, uh, when, when COVID came in, and it was like, okay, we got to postpone this show. And so I remember re-watching episode one to the last episode that we got um, when the show was postponed due to COVID. And I was like, okay, all these are so good. Um having an inter in the interaction between these girls but also getting like the focus on these three like even if it's like a Nadoka based episode or even using the girls of Tropical Rouge if it's a Asuka based episode everybody else still gets focus on it and they're really good at doing that with the show and then it's like when the when the final character usually comes on you know sometimes it's a little bit harder to give everybody um that equal amount of screen time and development and maybe even time to say something because this ain't the only other show that i've seen do it because one of my personal favorite series i cut to that i love just as much as pretty here um it's been doing that for years for ever since 2012 where you have a group about maybe let's say 10 girls 
and they're all different idols. And, you know, when you're first starting out and when you introduce each character and then when you finally get to the end of the very first season and you have, here's all the girls we've all focused on, and you sit back and you look at the very first season before going on season two, um, and you think, okay, who had the most screen time out of this show? Of course, Ichigo, because Ichigo is the main character of the Aikatsu series, and then you have her friends, Ron and Aoi, who are, like, the second focus. So, in the group of, like, Gen 1 of Aikatsu, in my opinion, um, who probably got, like, the least amount of focus, it probably was Kaede, um, Kaede, Sakura, Yuriko. One of those three. But then focusing back onto Healing Good, like, yeah, like, Hina says she got the least amount of focus by the time we ended the series. I mean, yes, I think if we got the episode, the fashion episode with her getting a little bit of more leadership, plus the two leadership episodes that she got, even though she messed up on it, and she owns to the fact that she messed up, I think my, like, final words on her would have been a little bit differently than what I said towards the end. Um... The Christmas episode would have been okay, no matter what, because it's a ho it, Halloween. Here I go again. It's a holiday-themed um, episode. I always love holiday-themed episodes, especially, you know, when it's a Halloween episode, because, you know, your girl is an October baby. Mm, let's go. Um, but when it's Christmas episodes, and when you are in the moment of Christmas, and even with last year, and COVID, and dealing with everything that we had to deal with last year, and being very... You know, even still with this year, we're still de dealing with COVID. And it's hard for you to still celebrate, like, any holiday or even let alone your birthday when something like COVID is, is in there. And it would have been nice to have that Christmas episode because going back to December, I still got a lot of other animes that I reacted to that had a Christmas episode. And then you had Akudama Drive <laughs> that, you know, made me cry so freaking much. But, um... In every one of those shows, I still got that warm Christmassy vibe because it was so close to Christmas or it was either after Christmas and you were still feeling the Christmas spirit. And so to not have a pretty cure episode to focus on Christmas and such and seeing them do something together and celebrating the holidays, it would have it was upsetting, but it would have been nice. Now, the crossover episode with Yes, Pretty Cure 5, I, I think that probably would have been the favorite episode out of the three. I think that would have been, like, really a highlight. And I really kind of wish that, you know, even though we don't really know anything about Tropical Rouge and um, specifically, like, their two movies, the All-Star movie and their own movie that will be coming out in October as well, I, I would like to see them cross over with anybody from, like, an older series or a modern-day series. Heck, I, you know, the biggest thing that I kind of want right now is either for Tropical Rouge to possibly do a crossover with Girl Princess Pretty Cure only because... <laughs> only because, um... Not only because of my best girl, Kilala, because I love her so much, but um, Miss Little Kier Grace, 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 yes, Miss Grace, <laughs> Miss Kier Grace is played by um, Annie Lionheart from, of course, Attack on Titan. And I just want to see Mirodin and Miss Little Kier Grace here interact one more time, even though they're not be, they're not going to play, you know, Annie and Mikasa again because you know since Attack on Titan is officially going to be over by next year you know you just want to get in the moments and it's like that or if they couldn't do Go Princess Pretty Cure I think I would like to see Maho Girls because I know a lot of people don't really like Maho Girls I think I can speak for a lot of people even though I personally loved it because my best girl my favorite say you saved that show in my opinion um I can speak for a lot of people like they can say it's their least favorite show or season and it's they may not rewatch it like multiple times. I've watched it at least two times and stuff only because like I said once again my favorite say you saved the dang show but you know because like in the beginning when I watched it I I wasn't as almost invested into um what's your name what's your name. 
Mirai and Rico. Oh my god, that took me a moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, w I was invested in them a little bit, even though I knew both of their seiyus and what they done. And I was like, oh, mm -hmm, yes, yeah, seiyus that I like. But, um, I think because maybe it was maybe more of, like, just the interaction in it between the two. It wasn't, like, the best. But then, you know, when the queen, the queen... When she came in <laughs> and she finally spoke and everything and she transformed in the most prettiest best girl of pretty cure history in my opinion when she finally came she literally saved that damn show i'm sorry so yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but honestly it would have been nice to see their crossover episode honestly like because i think as of like ever since he, not healing good hug a toe when white and black officially came into the series because we were celebrating the anniversary it gave a little glimmer of hope for a lot of people that we could possibly see and it could officially be canon in the pretty cure universe that it's like oh, okay hey they all still know each other but it may not be like oh when we're doing this like you can't call them it's like how i feel with um isekai quartet you have Overlord, you have ReZero, you have Kanesuba, and you have Saga Tiny Evil. Then you also have, um, I'm about to say the Angel Manager, but wrong show. Uh, da 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 Mmm. Cautious Hero. And now, um, well, Cautious Hero is the newest people in the group. Shield Hero. There we go. Um, you have so those six isekais all together and such. And so when you get to see isekai quartet together, it's more like funny, cutesy, because it has like the cute um, art style and everything. Like they never really will talk about stuff from their actual shows, but it'll just be them doing like cute little shenanigans every single week. But then when you get into like something like, okay, like Overlord, Overlord is about to have season four, we just don't know when. Um... As someone who did not watch the show, but then I actually react to it in Ish, I would always make like little subtle jokes comparing it to Isakar Quartet and be like, mm, if only you could call such and such for this situation because they would help you like no hands down ish like that. That's what I kind of want to see with Pretty Cure entirely because you have a universe of so many girls, magical girls and stuff, and you want to see all of them together. And so the biggest thing that I really hate now or really dislike but still love and care about the series is that you don't get to see them all interact anymore. You only get the, the last three previous cures, one who will be the newest one, and then the last two generations in this because I understand, yes, you... They, like, really, number one, Toll possibly does not have that much money to not only pay Seiyus to come in and just say one little line and then leave and such. Because as someone who knows a lot of Seiyus and know what the heck they're known for, like, for an example, for Tropical Rouge, um, freaking Nico Yozawa from Love Live, her Seiyu is in Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure. Going back to episode 11, she came in for like, what, under a minute to just come and give the girls um, gummies and then she left. So you got to sit here and think and wonder, how much did she get paid just to do a quick little scene and then leave? There's been moments when her character has come in, said something and then left. So she's getting paid for that nonstop. Not only are the four main characters of this show Plus Laura, so that makes five, because those five are also big seiyus as well. They're getting paid high up. So not only, that's now six big, big seiyu names who are in this series and who are getting, like, probably top dollar um, per episode. Like, let's say they're making, like, ten grand per freaking episode. I, I don't know. I don't know how much it would be um, for, like, the end. I would really have to, like dedicate my life and like look to see because i i bet you it, it, it's probably a lot to compare it to like japanese and yen to u.s dollars but like to really think about it and i think that is probably one of the many reasons of why anything from futaiwa before like the three past series of pretty care will never be in an all-star series and so it, it it's really hard because just like oh my god you want these characters all to interact I, like, till this day, oh my effing god, like, I would love to see freaking Akira and, 
Oh my god, Yukari interact with their daughter from freaking Hakuto, Homare. Because even though everybody's like, no, that's not their daughter, Deja. I'm like, it's canon in my book. That is their child. She looks like them. She acts like them. That is their child. Like, I am sorry. It would be so good to see them, like, interact like a little family and such. But, like I said, we will never possibly ever get that again. Unless it was us as the fans as a big old group really sent letters to Toll Animation to say how much we loved when you had every single pretty cure from this series to this series all together again that's literally like the highlight even though it is hard to get a whole bunch of characters all animated in a movie um and such and you're trying to figure out oh, okay which one is going to be able to speak and which one's not going to be able to speak they could still do it. They could take record. Like, as I said this before, they, you know, in the archives, and they bet you, I bet you they freaking have this. They have freaking um, voice memos, dialogues from these girls, these women who voice these characters for a year or two, depending on, like, whatever series got a sequel. So you know you have it. You can just have it. Yeah play a line from there you know still give them money from that you can do a lot of things to animation i mean come on please <laughs> like please for the love of god i beg you because like oh my god seriously finally like okay for example with sailor moon with sailor moon sailor moon crystal specifically they find we're finally getting a movie even though i want to listen to a tv show um where everyone is all together because this is the first time or really the second time for like all of the Sailor Scouts to be together ever since um, Sailor Moon S. Because in the 90s version, um, the Outer Guardians, they leave and you don't really see them again until stars. And that was the biggest thing that I think like everybody was pissed about because you wanted to see um, the story play out. Because, specifically me, because I think I was reading... Um, supers as I was watching supers when it was on like Cartoon Network and ish and had that wacky dub <laughs> but now like umpteen years later where well, we're finally getting to see the true story even though everybody has a lot of mixed opinions on the crystal version but you know we'll you know one day we'll probably talk about that again one day um I don't know I I'm just I'm happy that that's actually officially happening because as someone who's you know, religiously reread the manga of Sailor Moon like so many times and just loves the interaction of having all of the Sailor Scouts together in like the whole entire thing from supers to stars. Uh, it's just so good. But yeah, this is both episodes are good. I loved it. Honestly, I kind of wait to see what the heck is going to happen next. But go ahead. Um, wrong thing. <laughs> Other than that. <laughs> That is my reaction view towards episodes 10 and 11 of Yes, Pretty Cure 5. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 12 and 13. Bye, guys.